Welcome to the CA Spectrum 10.3 Docker Spectra Server installation video. This video assumes you already have the Docker images already downloaded and put onto the Docker machine as well as having Docker service installed and running. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have the Docker service running and no images are loaded. So let's go ahead and load the 10.3 Spectra server image into Docker. You'll notice here that the extension is .tar. This is required for Docker and you must g-unzip the downloaded media from the Spectrum support site. This process will take a little while. I paused the video during this portion so you didn't have to see it, but it should take less than 10 minutes to load into Docker. For the sake of this video and this being a lab, I'm also going to quickly load in the one-click SRM image into Docker. This one takes significantly less time because it is a smaller image. So as you can see, I now have the SRM image and the SS image loaded into my Docker. I can now issue a command that will show me all the images loaded. Next thing we're going to do is check to see if there's any running containers. So when you do a Docker PS, you can see that there's nothing running. So the next step is to actually execute and run the SS container as follows. As you can see here, I'm setting the host name in the docker run command for the container. This will make connecting the containers together much easier. You're going to want to make sure that you use the proper image name from the docker image ls command at the end, otherwise you will get an error. Once you execute the docker run command, it's actually going to install sradmin and install spectrum for you inside that container. This process will take a little while, so please be patient. For the sake of time, I also paused the recording here. But as you can see, the installation did complete successfully. The next thing you want to do is open a duplicate session to your Docker machine. Execute a Docker PS to see all the running containers and note that our SS container is still running. Now go back to your original session and control C out of the installation. Execute a Docker PS again and note that the container is not there. If you do a Docker PS-A, it will show you all containers running or not. Note here that the status says exited because we control seed out of the install. All we want to do is grab the container ID and start that container. Running SS container, let's open a shell against that container by typing a docker exec dash IT, then the container ID slash bin slash bash. This will put you into the container so that you can actually start navigating around into the file system of the container. Default installation directory is slash user slash spectrum. So what we're going to want to do now is change our hosts file, the .hostrc file, to allow connections from all hosts or a specific host depending on your lab setup. Now we need to start all the processes as they are not started automatically. So go into the lib sdpm directory and start process D. Next, go ahead and 
su to your spectrum install user which default is spectrum and then we can start the spectra server now you can see that the spectra server is running and you have a fully running spectra server inside docker for more detailed information about this product click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page from there you can visit the product documentation support communities or see learning paths